Welcome to this episode of Blaze Meters, Did You Know? In this episode, we'll ask the question, did you know that the correlation recorder now has autocorrelation? As any experienced performance tester will know, when you are recording your application for the means of creating a performance test, one of the hardest things you have to do is correlate those dynamic values that show up when you are recording your user flow. And you might find yourself saying a sentence a lot like this one. Correlating the dynamic values in my performance test is difficult. I wish there was an easier way to do it. So we're going to be talking about the fact that BlazeMeter has contributed JMeter plugin to the open source community that simplifies this process. And we'll start, as we so often do in JMeter, with an empty test. But it won't be empty for long, because we are going to go up to templates. And we are going to create from template a correlation recorder script. This correlation recorder template is going to give us a lot of things. Uh, specifically, we have a recording controller where our recorded samples will go, and we have the actual correlation recorder element. Let's go ahead and record a script. JMeter will create a new certificate for me that I have to make sure that my browser will trust. Now I'm going to be recording a simple flow in WordPress. There's two things I want to do before this happens, though. One, I want to make sure that the certificate that JMeter created is being trusted by my browser. So I'm going to go ahead and import that certificate. I'm using Firefox. And I'm going to make sure that my proxy is set to the same configurations that we have in JMeter. So we can go ahead and log into the WordPress admin console. When we're here, we're just going to go and look at one of the blog posts that we have. And we're just going to remove one of the lines that's here. So we're going to make a quick edit to a post. We'll update it. And we'll go back. And we're just going to log out. Now we go back to JMeter and we stop there our recording. The correlation recorder is going to ask us, do you want to automatically look for dynamic values that we want to correlate? We're going to say yes. Yes, we do. JMeter replayed what we had just recorded, and it found that 14 requests had failed. Now the plugin is going to analyze our test and look for dynamic values that it might need in order to run this successfully. I'm going to ask it to do automatic comparison and variable detection, rather than use a set of existing rules. After the analysis is done, JMeter will present you with a bunch of possible correlation values that you might want to take into consideration. And this is all very useful, but I only need some of them. Specifically, I need these two. I click on autocorrelate, and if I check out all the requests that we've recorded, I'll see that some of them now have extractors attached to them. Extractors that I did not have to make, but were created for me. Now, if I go and I run this test, I get a totally successful all greens down the board test. If you've ever recorded a test with JMeter, you're probably familiar with this being all full of red because of all of the correlated values that are not taken into account. But when we can automatically detect those values in a scenario that we've recorded and automatically apply both the variables and extractors to get those variables across our whole test, our workflow can be so much faster. This is just a simple example of how you can use the autocorrelation functionality that is now in the Correlation Recorder plugin for JMeter. Thank you for joining me for this episode of BlazeMeter's Did You Know?